Hey guys, welcome to another one of my Blood Bowl commentaries. This time, you might be able to hear an annoying buzzing in the background. That's just my phone being too close to the friggin' speakers, which is, seems a really stupid thing for it to have. I'm playing against um, orcs, and these orcs seem to be pretty damn good. They're at 200 seconds, so we'll see how they play. But I'm using the Cornish Demons. I'm not expecting to win this. Um, as much as I like corn, I can't see them much as a, a competitive team. Well, maybe at really high levels, but I don't overly see them as a competitive team because, ho ho ho, no wonder he's doing well. He's got a plus strength from Black Orc. Mighty Blow, Guard, Grab, Tackle, Block, Guard, Leader. Ah. Right, guys, I will introduce you to, you to Min Maxing. This is a team that has been Min Maxed. It's what you call a team where someone has built it so that it's at an extremely low TV. Um, he might not have built it, but you can't get those sort of stats. He's basically got... He doesn't have blitzers or a troll. So he has no block on a lot of his players. However, he's got four very deadly Black Orcs designed for killing. And uh, linemen, and maybe one or two other things. But um, essentially, these players he's maxed out so that he has the most, the, the sort of most cost efficient killing team you can get, or playing team sometimes with elves. But I've never seen a min maxed elf team, because elf teams sort of generally get min maxed by the way that they die. But bash teams, you can sort of... It's like, say, taking Chaos and then having all rookies, apart from one beast man, who can pick up the ball, run with the ball, pass the ball, you know, do everything that you need a beast man to do. And um, we'll choose to receive, I think. And then putting... Taking... And then having four Chaos Warriors, all designed for claw, tackle mighty blow, block, etc. So you can hurt. So, we'll just put up the names. It's a tricky one. Um, and he's got quite a high rank, so he must be doing very well with it. But at this TV, you'd expect that. He's got some very nice players. This guy doesn't even have block, which I find quite strange, but, you know, whatever. Plus one strength, mighty blow, stand firm, block, guard. He's got one tackle player. That won't really bother me too much. Leader block guard. He has one or two really good linemen, but no blitzers, which is a strange thing, if you ask me. I've got block all around, as you know, on my Cornish team. I generally do. I got horns. I got juggernaut. And this might be an opportunity for me to use fren frenzy where it's needed most. Uh, if I can start winning by uh, beating up some of his players before he beats up mine. And I have Claw on my team, so it's entirely possible. <laughs> we might see just some uh, good, friendly fun on this min-max team. Um, question is, I don't want to just... <coughs> now, these guys are going to guard pretty well, so I have no real desire to fight them 101, to be honest. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and coax him into coming to play on my side of the field. Um, because if I play on my my side of the field, yeah, it, it sort of it, may, it sort of makes sense. If if I play on the flanks, Corn will win. Hopefully, I should be able to use my frenzy to um, manipulate it. However, he's got a lot of guard, and his tough players are pretty tough. But you can't get past that at strength six, um, Corn Demon. So. Quick snap. Everyone's allowed to move one square. Um, okay, we'll move this player. See if he makes the catch. Um, way we get some points here. Um, but let's see how he plays because uh, it's sort of yeah we got the ball. Right, where's my guard player starting off? Here he is. Good old guard. Right, we'll go 
crazy start off and we'll just charge in with Zerk and I didn't really want to get that hit because now he'll be able to hit me nice and hard okay so it's a nice armor break for a start that's pretty damn good now we're going to move up a player here because what we're going to do is we're going to try and just start pushing his players off the field because that is what Korn does and um, he can try and hit me and he will hit me but I have 9 armor and claw and he has uh, no claw at all um, and I have faith that I need to watch out for him frenzy pro tackle he does have a good frenzy player there but he doesn't have sidestep or anything now a couple of these guys have got stand firm they will be worth worrying about because obviously you don't want anyone to stand firm getting to you but yeah let's just move up really annoy him here by putting a dodge block player in front of these two players and that should do for a start I don't want to get in too much combat I'm sort of hoping that if he hits Zerkan at least his armor value 9 and sorry my armor value 9 on Zerkan and uh, his lack of claw is going to mean that I can actually break more armor on key players than he can he has zero subs I think maybe no he has zero subs um, and yeah I, I think his idea was oh you know lineman armor is good it's very good it's 9 however your armor does not stop you getting crowd surfed and that is my plan. I'm going to use corn at what they're good at, which is crowd surfing. And my god, are they good at crowd surfing. So let's just show them. We don't have to remove you from the pitch using a standard way. That's not necessary. We'll just remove you from the pitch the other way. The one that is really only sort of permitted for corn, because corn are awesome. Now he does have block. Both these players make suitable blockers, I think, at this point because he's got guard and these is, so he's only strength 5 on the defense he's managed to push away this player that's that's a block wasted oh no he's going to push him in Ooh, this guy doesn't have tackle so that's sh okay that doesn't make a difference apparently because he's going to just throw that block anyway and it does hurt but it doesn't hurt me so bad that I'm going to miss him horrendously I can uh, choose what I want to do with that player in a minute, but... Okay, so he's playing sort of just exactly where I want him to play, really. He's playing into the fact of moving to the flank, and that's exactly where I want him. I want him up on that flank, where I can start pushing him about, and I think even that player is just within range of being pushed off, and that's a mighty blow. Leader, block, guard, player, off the pitch, gone. Um, it's just about getting it to work. Hmm. Because <laughs> I need a number of blocks and it's not going to be just as simple as just getting the block to work. Um, I really wouldn't mind him getting up a player or two. Now, do both of these have guard? Either that or we can just... Um, His guards are really a nuisance, and they are going to lock me down a little bit. And I'm going to have to be careful, because I'm not going to be able to get more than a one die here. But... might just be possible if I play my cards right to push this player off the edge straight off um, you've got to keep a cool head now he's he's the only one there so I think I'd still to ah see it would be a two die against on the sec. no no it wouldn't okay let's do this I think it's alright. But we can't 
turn down as defender stumbles. So we'll just do that. Um, this guy doesn't have guard. Um, okay, let's just clear out some room first, shall we? This should get a one die block or allow a one die block. So, has this guy got something? Yes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to throw this down because he has block. So, I feel confident in his ability to move players around the place. And let's just show him where I want his Black Orcs to go and whether I think they're worth my time which I don't think they're worth my time personally um, although I do have to worry about what he's gonna do now so I'm gonna just keep this player back a little bit and then I'm gonna move this player here right so that should stop him dodging in and that leaves enough frenzy around the place if he gets this player up he has to be slightly concerned about something um, because it just takes a good blitz with these guys. Now he's got horns. Um, he will be able to hit back. I think he'll be able to hit back with a two die on this guy. But hopefully, he what he's not going to go for is if he moves this player about the place. If I can just get a player into two die block frenzy him, we might just have a chance. Now he's got some nice setup here. Good for him. Um, if I need to, I'll dodge out. If I need to, I'll blitz out and risk it with the... Because um, horns should get me out, but we'll see. be great to have break tackle on this guy. It really would. Ow. I have to be careful, though, because I don't want him to throw too many blocks, because I could get injured myself, and I don't have many subs. And it could be that he wins just using his ridiculous, you know, giant build thing that he's got going on. Which is... This is the kind of... It's annoying when people build it because they build it purposely because it's the most cost efficient and it's not really a... It wouldn't be competitive to build a team like this. But, you know, they do it anyway. And it's goddamn frustrating. But um, we'll see what happens. There you go, there comes a block. If I'm lucky, he'll put him here. Ah, see, he's not thinking very straight. Um... Why do I want him to put him there? Because that means I can blitz this guy off the pitch. I can blitz this guy off the pitch and feel safe in the knowledge that I am not. I'm down one of those pesky black orcs. Then I can continue on doing what I want to do. Um, he's trying to make a dodge. He does use the dodge, and so the which is probably best because I'm going to take his player off the pitch in a minute. Um, so first thing first. Time to get rid of a player. With the ball carrier, no less. Oh, come on, don't roll that. That's so goddamn frustrating. <laughs> um, okay, so my player has not got a push, which I kind of wanted. But um, that's okay if he doesn't get it. Um, does make things a bit more tricky for me, because this player is not out of the competition at the moment. Um... Now this guy is a little bit stuck, in fairness. He's done well to place his blocks around the place, so... Hmm... This guy, I'm sort of expecting to go down now. Um, <laughs> oh God, it's frustrating because all these guards are making a hassle. I can dodge out using this player. What I might have to do is I might have to dodge out. Try and get this player loose. It's a bit risky because he's on a one die. But... Um,
I should have really run this guy up. But we'll, we'll try and get loose this player. Come on, I need a good hit. That'll do. That gets him out. I really need an injury as well, though. Oh, perfect timing. Fractured arm. This guy is going to start worrying now. That's a huge amount of TV that he just had removed off the pitch. That's perfect. Um, the ball could go loose, yes. Um, I need to somehow do some covering, which I shouldn't really be getting away with. But at the same time, I won't use my skill. Let's see how that goes. He can get up. He can knock this ball out of my hands easily but now he's down a black orc it's a shame that he's used his apothecary so now I need to just injure another black orc and start really punishing him for not you know for me for letting me get this far he's trying to lock down this player fair enough um, that's all predictable I might have to just block away but even then if I can start knocking out other players as well he's not gonna blitz with that one because he makes sense because he can blitz with this one um, and he'll be able to get the ball loose, but he's still playing on my turf, which is um, the flank. Okay, he can take me down, no issue, and he's still there, so he's still on the flank, fine. Um, he'll be able to get a couple of players up, but hopefully I'll be able to worm my way out. If it comes down to a slogging match on this flank though, I think I can win just using my frenzy. I've got to make, sort of take some risks though. For example, this player, it might even be worth going two die uphill block with block because all I need is to get a push. Um, and he could go off the pitch and that would be so useful. This guy, I think, where's my guard player? Here he is. Right, he's going to be important and key to get into this game as well. But um, he's got grab, so that's kind of annoying. But this guy's loosened up a little bit. Now he won't want to put him here because Chaos Flow's here. Um, oh, there goes another reroll. Okay, so I, I'm willing to sort of fight it out around this area. If I can start getting some serious injuries on him, now he could do exactly the same to me, but I'm sort of hoping that my claw will count for something. Okay, that's fine, we don't mind. We got us, and also we have a sub. Which makes me a little bit more confident that I can achieve something here. Hmm. But sometimes you've got to try and take out... The thing with these min-max teams is they do have weak points, and that is that their players just aren't all good. Some of them are good, but some of them aren't, and they will suffer because of it. Um, and you have to take risks. He doesn't really have a ball carrying player, so I can almost be confident that he's not going to really get the ball out to anyone. And I, well, he can get the ball out to any someone, but what I mean by that is, hmm, hold on, two day uphill block, two, two day. Um, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this player using him, and then that. Oh, Chaos Flow could really do it. It's a bit risky because Chaos Flow does need to move at some point. But, he's alright there. We'll see if he moves. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, we'll leave that player there to cover. This guy got. This guy doesn't have um, plasma strength. Okay, that's completely normal. I should have thought about that, that really. So that's my fault, more than anything. But I have to think about where I can throw my blocks. Um. Okay, I'm going to take a risk here and go for the block on this guy and hope I get a yellow. I do. And I can put him there. Which means that I get one die block here. And I do get a yellow. So there goes another black orc. So he probably is going to start worrying soon. 
because I've just taken off another one of his key players that he's made so strong. And um, I'm going to dodge out and waste a reroll probably. Nope, okay. And just put another tackle zone in the ball while I buy myself some time. And then I'll go for a hit on this guy. I'm going to reroll that in the hope that I get something good. And I do. Excellent. And that just denies him a lot of blocks. Now he can get up a couple of players, but once again he's playing on the flank. That is where Korn are best. The best at pushing you off the edge. And he's not going to really enjoy this game if he plays too long there. Um, as you can see, he's now missing two really good players. N not great players, but two really good players in a team where the rest of his players really struggle. Without those guards, I'm going to be a lot safer. Um, I need Chaos Flow really to injure a Black Orc at some point soon. But I'm not desperate for it to happen immediately. <sighs> He's pushed a player back. I do have to worry about my own injuries because they will start kicking in. But if Chaos Flow can charge into this bunch of players and just start making a mess here and start acting as a sort of guard as well as a threat to this side, which he'll be able to do, um, we could make this a very interesting game. Now I don't know what his plan is because he doesn't have all that much of... Okay, no, he's going for that, which seems really strange because that could happen. And that's his last reroll if he uses that. If not, it's a chance for me to hit him and it's a free block. So all is good. Um, I'm going to make a one die block. It's risky, but I need to clear off some space there, which means that I can do this. Um, just check that I can't do anything better. In fact, actually, if I do that, it gives me a two-die block, which I can then follow up. Ah, oh, see, now I could be in trouble here if he get roll something bad, but it's only it's a one-die block, and he doesn't fail me. Hooray! Um... Let's have a look. What am I going to achieve here? This guy's plus one strength, so it's, it's worth mentioning that guy is freaking tough. Um, oh, I need him to get involved, so I'm going to reroll that. He does make it, so it wasn't a waste. Yes, an injury, and it starts. The badly hurt start coming in. And he's going to start hating me for playing in this game. Um, way. It's another hit. Should give me a chance to move round. Uh, does this guy, no, this guy doesn't have guard. See, I want to, mm, there's no point doing that. So what I'll do is I'll just prep myself by putting that guy there. These guys are fine. Um, I might just make a block. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but it doesn't. And I need to try and get as many blocks off as possible at the moment to just try and really push home my advantage. As you can see, he's really, he's really going to struggle if he takes too many more injuries. He has zero subs. I have one sub and actually he's now got no apothecary while I do. So I'm try going to try and play this game as much as possible just to remove players off the pitch with uh, Zirkin. And yes I know it's risky taking the wild animal but I needed that guard in there now because that's where he needs to be. Once he stopped, I've got a lot more reliable players if you think about it. Because um, mine have all got block. If you think his have got block on maybe four players one of the one of these black orcs doesn't have block i think it's this no not that one he'll be able to make a couple of hits good for him but i should be able to respond with my own arsenal in a minute this guy has guard wrong side really i wanted the guard the other side but uh, he'll do he should be he should make a hit here I oh, know he's going to blitz. Okay, fair enough. 
but he's he's going to flood in this area and this guy can set up a run down for this guy and that's another one off the pitch the more I take off the pitch the easier it is for me to finish this game however I do need to pick up the ball soonish because it is going to be turn 6 for me um, this guy can't actually put himself that anywhere that great though so <laughs> but even if I can just injure all his loads of his players and then start up the next one and win 1-0 I think that's a bit of a victory personally <coughs> Um, he's put that guy there, which is sort of strange because I would have thought you'd want to put as many players as you could. Okay, fair enough. Um, so he's moved a player there, which is a good choice. Now I just need to decide which one of these guys... Um, do I want off? Well, let's go for the goblin anyway, because we can. <sighs> Whew! Zerkin does not fail me. And that's an injury! Dead as well. Bye bye, plus one strength Blackhawk. Well done, Zirkin. He's doing a good job up there, and that's why we like him. Um, let's just make a dodge. Uh, it doesn't work, but you know, this is what I mean. That's that's two. That's another Blackhawk. So that's two players off the pitch, and one of them is his one of his finest Blackhawks. So I'm really beginning to kick in. I was lucky that the loner reroll has worked twice, but I'm really really you I don't have a choice about rerolling that and I really needed to clear that player first but um, his min max team is falling apart so that's good he will be able to take off these two players and bring in another one to lay me but at the moment I'm feeling like if I can just keep fouling him sorry not fouling him bringing down a, a couple more players that will be the critical point he won't he orcs are not fast they will not be able to move very quickly and I will be able to throw blocks where I like and try and direct the play where I like. Of course, I'd actually like to score, so same time, be nice. But um, of course, I was basing this entire strategy on either taking him off the pitch at the flanks, which I've done, or alternatively, going for the hits elsewhere um, and trying to injure him with Chaos Float, who is by far the most lethal player on this pitch. Um, he has a lot of players about. Let's see where he puts this guy. Because he's going to be able to slide in another player here, which will be pretty nasty. But the ball lands there, and I don't think he's going to reroll a catch for that, because it wouldn't be any use. The ball lands there, and I should be able to clear off some players just to get myself out a bit. And he uses pro, and it gets him nowhere. Okay, that's pretty good. A uh, little bit lucky. We'll see how this ends up. Alternatively, I could just try and push this guy off the pitch again. Um, and here's another option. Um, I could beat back this player, come in, try and push over this player, In fact, actually, that's looking like a very tempting option at the moment, after he's just done that. Um, right, we're going to try and push this guy off the ball. And we're going to do a bit of chain pushing. Because we can. Hopefully, we should be able to... Push this one off. And he goes away. Now, I'm aware that I have to move this player carefully. Uh... 
Um, I have a sure hands player, I think, but he's not in the right place. Yeah, he just used up his block. So... I have no rerolls, so I have to be careful about that. Um, hmm. It's one in nine to fail here. But this guy, if he fails, will be a bit more catastrophic. Oh, right. I'm going to make the risk. Makes the first hit okay. And that'll do me. That's all I needed. It's three plus pickup, so it's a little bit risky, but I can. I'll go for the block here, and I succeed. And that's a good armor break. Now I just need to try and make a run for it. Fail the pickup, but it lands in between three players. Um. I don't know if I can score. I think I can score with this one, and he's going to know that I can only score with that one if he's got any brains. Um, so he'll probably go for a hit on that. That's okay. Um, while scoring would have been nice, I really would just prefer to be rid of a couple of his players. I would have traded that. He's going to be down to nine men next one. And I can even throw one pot potentially in as a, um, into fouling, although I'm not going to. But I can just... As you've seen, this team of corn can throw around bigger teams than they are more skilled if they just use their strength, which is at the flanks, at the right moments. And that's exactly what I've done. I've just thrown my strength around where it's needed. Chaos flow is what I want. You know, he's oh, he's going to go for a two-die block here, but with grab, he's not going to. I don't know if he if if he uses grab, will he? then have to be forcibly push him to one of these spots. That's what I've always wondered. Either way, we shall see. I should really go for the goal, but it's it's like my last priority because I have to make two go for it and such. Um, it'd be great if he like made a blitz and then failed and managed to just push me up one. Okay, let's see where he's going to put me. Yeah, he doesn't actually take that, so he's going to take a grab. And it's my leader, which is kind of concerning. Hey, we got the ball. So that's something that I don't have to worry about anymore. Uh, now I need to do is move a couple of players here. Okay, one, two, three. Go for a two-day block. Get rid of him. Push off another one. Happy days. Oh, he does manage to hit that on that player. So there's zero chance of me scoring now. Unless I do some pushes or something. Hey! Um, but at the moment, I feel like I'm just going to go crazy. I don't really mind that I've lost, a, you know, the odd one or two players. It doesn't bother me too much. He does. He does have guard, so I need to... Be slightly cautious about that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this player here. Actually, would it be better just to use this player? Yes, it would. All right, let's go for a double takedown on here. This guy's dodged, so I'm kind of hoping it will work. Um, I didn't position it perfectly, but even a both down will take him off the pitch. But that will not. It's okay. That's okay. So N0-0, zero, zero. not great on my turn, but look at where he's at at the moment. He's going to be struggling with less than enough. Less, uh, he's going to be down two players, and one of those players is going to be a key black orc. So I think it'll make him quite. It'll be. It'll make it quite hard. And if I can just set up and survive the first few hits in the first round, then I might just be able to make this. Oh, he's going to manage to. Oh, he's going to manage to. Um, I'm very much aware that he could really hurt me, but I kind of want to push this advantage as much as possible. Um, I'm going to go for badly hurt just so I can push the numbers, just in case this guy doesn't get up. Um, this is where this guy is going to get dead now. But he hasn't got any special, special skills. It's a knockout. See, I'm sort of justified now by 
re-rolling that first one because it means that at least I should. I want to try and preserve as much of that to um, that advantage I have, player advantage, which means I need as many players as I can on the pitch. Um, once it get, he needs to lose another black orc. But if he loses another black orc, I think that's game over for him because that will be so much of his pushing power gone. These things must be worth 200 each at least, and. Uh, if I can take them off the field, sounds good to me. Especially if I can try and direct them as much as possible. I don't know if he's going to go for a foul. It'd be great if he did. Looks like he is. Oh no, he's going to go for a hit. No, oh, he's going to go for a hit. Okay, so that's kind of. Yeah, concerning, but look, he's fine. He's got at least armor value 9, so he's one of the toughest. Okay, so, no, oh, an exciting first half, and I realise it was a bit of a boring one, but you have to realise that in this game, I don't foresee myself winning this without making some sacrifices. If that sacrificing is scoring in the first half, I can live with that. Um, because if I can, I now have a two-man advantage over him, and his TV has dropped massively. All I need to do is play a strong second half. And we could be looking at a nice... Because he's going to have issues picking up the ball anyway. Like, I mean, literally, he's going to have issues picking up the ball. Um, I don't want one of my tackle players gone when I could do with just... So when I could have that. So as tackle is a redundant skill in this case. Um... I'm going to keep the juggernaut on. Where's the kicker? You're there. Good. Let us see what he has to offer us. I should have played out to the flanks, really. But you can see already that his team looks a lot smaller. That goblin, he's not going to want that goblin in combat. He knows if I aim for... He's got a plus one strength guard. Grab guard, tackle, fair, leader, block guard. It's it's a it's a nice set of guys, but you know, I have kick. He has no ball playing skills whatsoever. He's going to be playing this one a bit off, I think. His black orcs are easily locked down. None of them have the ability to really break out of a fight if they need to. So I just need to sort of tease that group apart, isolate the black orcs, make them feel a little bit vulnerable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it to the flank because if I can get him to sit on the flank. Of course, if it lands there, then it's not very useful. And we both get a reroll, which isn't great, but that's okay. Okay, I was sort of hoping it would land there, but um, that's okay. It means it means he'll get to give it to a player. Fine. That means he's hiding away one of his players. Even better. <laughs> he's not going to want this player to be attacked by this one, but it's one of the players I will be aiming at anyway, so doesn't faze me that he's given it to him. Um... Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Of course, an injury or two could really screw me over. But we're both as prone to injuries as the other, so let's see how it goes. Now, he's got three Black Orcs there. He's going to want to really, really think about what he's doing with these guys. Because if I can even prize them, distract them away from the main sort of fight, then that's his support gone. They're gone, and I'll be happy. I should be able to, with those lack of player's ability there. I mean, if he's going to do that, it's just screaming, push me off the edge. Um, <laughs> I probably won't yet. I'll probably just carry on charging, but I will be able to tease apart this, I think, in quite short time. Um, if he doesn't close up this cage right now, I can just send this guy in straight off and he'll be able to do it off the start. And uh, we'll see what orcs are made of. But okay, that's a really strange positioning. He it might be that he's trying to force me in, but oh no, he's going for a hit. Okay, fine. But this guy has no movement left. Uh, it's only a badly hurt, but it's still slightly concerning because I needed him on the pitch. But um, still. Uh, do 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 do. I just need to 
if I remove a player or two with my own players then it's going to work out fine um, we'll leave this guy in charge here now we just got to start teasing apart him because he, he can't move around as quick as I can and he's got less players to react to anything so if I leave players here it's either going to force him to make moves he does not want to make or it's going to just um, right hold on let me just okay if we blitz here if I'm, in fairness if I move a player do I have a guard? yes I probably left him somewhere stupid or did he get injured? Mm, that'd be bad. Oh, maybe it was my guard player that got injured. Oh, that'd be a shame. But it's okay. Leave that player there. Okay, fine. Um, I can delay a little bit. There's no rush. Um, I don't want to give him as much chance as possible to hit me, though. So... I'm going to move some players out of the way, but I won't. He's only... Uh, I thought for a minute he was knocked out, which would have been slightly dire to my plan, but he can get one hit with a Black Orc, and maybe two if he blitzes. But he has to make some pretty good hits. Um, he could come and try and fight Chaos Flow, but I'm, I would love that, because that means that gets Chaos Flow into the mix. And as you can see, I'm just laying down players around to sort of draw him out. If he either brings in a someone to you know, add an assist, that's someone that can't attend to the cage. If he brings if he doesn't do anything or then they're just sitting there inactive and that gives me a chance to push my more skilled players and isolate those black orcs I've been saying. And finally if he tries to dodge, he could be using rerolls, which would be good. Um however I do need to actually try and make an attack. And I don't want my passiveness in the last round to come off at, to lead to a draw or a zero zero because that would be terrible. Okay, so here comes this player, and he's not even going to use this player's um, ability to block here, and he moves that player there. Fine. Um, you have to wonder why this guy is not going to be doing anything or featuring in the next part because um. Looks like he's going to move down the flank. Yippee ki -yay. And he's left this guy to just get beaten up and then isolated again. So that's one Black Orc isolated. Let's see if I can get... It's just about moving the players into the right positions. If he can do that, you won't have a problem. And Orcs are really slow, so I'm not too worried if... Even if he, in fact, if he leaves that, then that's sort of begging for a attack. Although he's got that player ready to go, so we'll see how it works. And I can move this player around the back if I need to and get desperate. Although he has plus one strength, so even with the horns, I'm not going to. And this is what I mean. He could make a block, but it could end up really screwing him over. So. Um, Good for me. Oh, I didn't want that guy on. Didn't realise I had that sort of player on. Okay. So that's one isolated Black Orc down. Let's just isolate this guy because I don't really want him getting involved as well as he's one of the better players. Hmm. Now we can essentially, because this guy's four, doesn't really matter what happens, but I can get chaos flow into the mix here, and hopefully an injury would be great, or a knockout, or an armor break. That's still good. Uh, two die block here, great. Um, move a player here, great. Uh, let's just see, because he could make a handoff, so we'll have to be ready to attend that emergency, if that emergency occurs. Um, kind of go, go for this, even though that's all I need. And a knockout's perfect. Perfect. 
and then we'll just charge up field just in case this goblin decides I'm getting cocky and then we'll just dodge out quickly just to see if we can make this guy has tackle so he's the guy designed for removing tackle players and um, we'll move this guy around so that he starts becoming a threat so this is looking really good I've got him nicely isolated he can make a handoff but then it's on a goblin who frankly frenzy block I don't fancy his chances um, I now have to just push this advantage I, this is probably a good this is about as good as it's going to get just removed another player so I should be once again two players up I don't know if he can just push out easily anywhere to be honest that's a really good result for me as well just on the basis that it means I'm not having to worry about this player being loose yet this player can come and assist or lock down this one but I don't think he's going to be able to do too much um, these guys should be able to roll over this player this guy is apparently not going to help this one so I, I, I would imagine this player is this black orc has got to be worrying a little bit because even if he is strength 5 eh, okay so he does manage to hit and actually knock out which is quite annoying but he has still sitting there and all I need to do is I need to get enough assist on him that I can punch the ball off him with uh, which should still be potentially possible though that really does scuffle my plans a little bit but we can remove the ball now still so we just got to do that which mostly involves getting as many players round as possible but um, that shouldn't be too difficult as we have one, two, three ready to jump in. Nope, make that more. Perfect. Okay. So, here's where we got to make this count. Have I got a tackle player? No. I have a sure hands player who should be. Hmm. Both my tackle players are there. Right. What I'm planning to do, I think, is I need to remove this goblin just so I can get the guard. Now I need to get a six or a block. That works. I won't waste any... Hmm, maybe I do need to waste a dodge. He does make it. Whew! Um, this guy has sure hands, so that's why I'm using him, essentially. Then we're going to move these players into position here. Which means that he can only get pushed one direction, which is up. And then I have a two-day block, and with a little bit of luck on the frenzy, I should be able to score a six. Yes. Perfect ball gets picked up I now have the ball yes I have the small problem of the fact that I'm still sort of surrounded by players that could do with the, do something different the ball but you know um, fuck it <laughs> it's all I can think of um, he needs to get a good hit and at least is two rerolls to two rerolls it is annoying that I lost some player to the um, corn demon. I'll give him that. That was really annoying. Sorry, I lost my corn demon. But the ball is at least in my hands. These guys are really going to be able to get involved. But if I can just somehow loosen the ball out, it could even just mean a fumbled throw. Um, do something stupid. This guy should be able to unleash this guy. And now I have to worry about these two. Oh, good. He's not going to get involved at least this turn. So. I would imagine his first port of call would be to make a block here. Um, I should still outnumber him heavily, so he does manage to make the hit. Ow. Um, and he's going to roll onto the ball and ooh, pick it up, you lucky sod. Okay, that's fine. Um, he should be able to bring in some support. But I do have horns on the pitch, so I might be able to just meet him. Oh no, he doesn't make that hit. And he makes that. That's a re-roll waiting. You can't not re-roll that. 
and he's moved that guy up so he's absorbing that fine no problem I am on the other hand going to just try and I've got to think where I can get an extra block but I imagine it's not looking great I'll give it that I wasn't expecting my uh, chaos demon to go off field but it's definitely possible to get something out of this um, if not just surround and try and push them around good he's going to at least absorb up a little bit more damage um, even a two die block might be favourable here <clears throat> first of all we need to make a block here even if it's just pushing this player out of the way and off the pitch fine um God damn it, it's frustrating not having the if it go the way you want it to. I need to try and get a one die block, which involves not really doing what I'm doing here, but apparently it might help. <laughs> um I'm gonna try and move this player here. Ugh. It's so annoying that the ball landed back in his hands because it, it's just annoying and I don't want this to be the way it goes. I don't really have a choice here. First of all, I might as well try and make a two dive uphill block against someone where it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going to go with that because... Oh uh, no, that was stupid. I had, I thought I had a reroll. Oh well, he's got. Oh, it's frustrating how his players doing all right. He can clear off the players now. He just needs to beat off this one, and that's perfect. Come on, roll double ones or something stupid. He can use block, but he's don't know if he's going to. And then he has to beat off this one and maybe this one. Hey, that'll save me a little bit. Um, but it's not looking good. Uh, the loss of my Chaos Demon really has screwed me over. And more than anything, it's all these guards and stuff. It This is the sort of thing, when it comes to these min-max teams, they're really strong because they can do that. Because they can build a team which is so lethal to anyone who's wanting to play. Um... He should be able to just push this player. I think his plan seems to be. But this guy should pop out there. Which means that this guy is still watching. So at least I've still got a small chance. I'm not going to be able to get a good assist in. And he dodges. Oh, the jammy bastard. He should have lost it right there. Yeah, 4 plus. Yeah, he can dodge. Um... However, that might... Hmm. Hmm. He's doing well. And there's not all that much I can do to stop him unless I really get a bit lucky. This is the problem. These four Black Orcs will... If I'd managed to take... If the Chaos Demon had stayed on... I would have been fine. No problems. I got this. But he just decided to cop out at the worst time possible. Um, I need do need to throw as many tackle zones onto this player so that he doesn't get what he wants, essentially. Um, It's going to be difficult because I can't work it out. Wherever I punch, there's still another player to be punched, sort of thing. Um, okay, this might involve being a bit cheeky. He's still not there yet, so...
He has got a while to go. And I am willing to throw everything I can at him to try and make sure that he will not be getting across that line. But it's not going to be as easy as just doing it. Um... going to be a matter of making some bad rolls and hoping that they work. I might not re-roll this because if I can at least force him to score quickly by uh, just... no. <sighs> it was going so well up until Chaos Flow decided it's time to go for a nap and that has absolutely killed the game for me because I was going to take the ball off him and Chaos Flow was the strength that I needed to hold off the rest of his that you would call in to get rid of his Black Orcs. But at the moment, his Black Orcs now can go unchecked because I have no players strong enough to deal the damage. He'll be able to push this guy open and both of these two will be able to come down and help out removing some tackle zones. Unless this guy, although that could be a really bad decision by him. I have to get lucky but if he doesn't have stand firm he could be in trouble this player needs to he, he might consider making a block against this one it's probably his best choice but if I can get this guy to come down and just make a block I can push him off the edge potentially he has to do some dodging and this guy with tackle will probably get involved as well. I need you to slip, I need you to slip. Okay, no, he's going there. That's pretty good. I don't know if he's going to get manage to get in the way or if he's just going to... No, he's going to definitely try and get in the way. Um, but it's potentially possible for me to push him off the edge. Unlikely, but possible. Um... move that player there. Where I wish I was vampires with a bit more strength. Either way, I should be able to get m myself to score farther, sorry, score quite quickly in a way because, so I get him to score quickly because then at least have a chance pulling this back but at the moment as it stands with chaos flow off the pitch I'm not getting anywhere that's okay now none of my ideas are good ideas at this point but I'm open to suggestions and risks as I need to be. Now, 4 plus reroll, 4 plus reroll, 3 plus reroll, assuming he makes them all. It's my best shot. It's not a good one, but it's my best. And dodge does not work, and it never was going to. But it was worth a try. Um, oh god, I played this game not sublimely, but everything was going to plan. You will have such a hard time playing against min-max teams like this one. Because they are built specifically to make sure that you have a really difficult time of things. But there's not much you can do um, to sort of just... Like, managed to get rid of a couple of his players but the moment the chaos flow goes off the pitch that's when in fact it, it, to be honest in any game the moment chaos flow oh, okay we'll, we'll be replacing him the moment chaos flow or the corn demon goes off the pitch that's when corn lose all power because that's their key piece you need him to play well now Sometimes he will go off the pit. You need basically you need him to do injuries, and you need him to uh, push people around because otherwise, Corn have no real good strength access to the team, and it will show. 
it will really show. Uh, I can literally do nothing to stop him scoring. So it's going to end 1-0. Unless something magical happens, it's going to end 1-0. Which is a shame, because I really thought I had this game. But I always thought it was going to be tricky. Because these um, min-max teams always are. And they do tend to ruin your game sometimes. But you have to try your best against them. And god damn it is it frustrating when you lose them. But you just have to keep going. Now, looking around... I don't think there's even the remotest chance that I can make it puff. Unless I manage to get... Let's go for this. Him to go down. Fine. He needs to make it there. Whereas this player needs to make it here. And make the punch. So we're going to go with this guy first. Doesn't really matter. This is a last ditch desperate attempt. Try and stop him scoring. Come on. Get me this goal. Touchdown, sorry. Stop this touchdown. Okay, pretty good. However, I think that's not going to save me because then he can punch and then not follow. So I have to re-roll it because... Oh no, I was... I could have just gone for the push. Oh well. Doesn't matter. He can make an attack back with this player. And then he can make a blitz. That's his best option. As it stands. Um, I might have to just make a go of it. To try and get here. Oh, he does it. Excellent. Right, so that means that at least there is a little bit off. But we'll see how this goes. Um, he should still be able to score if he uses his brain. Uh, do, do, do. With a little bit of luck, I might have just saved it, but he has to punch here, and then, mm, I think he's down to a 4 plus reroll, essentially here now. Um, and this is great. Because um, if he blitzes out here, he could be in a worse position than before. If he comes out here, now he can make an attack here. Oh no, and then he can... Oh, well played to him. He's worked out a way. And then all he needs to do is make a good hit here. Come on, double, both down. Nah, he's got what he needs. So well played. Um, I did everything I could to stop this. And in a way it was going to look like it was going to turn to me. And then the corn demon went off the pitch. And I'm going to stick by my strategy because it was definitely working up until... It was just um, unfortunate to have that Chaos Demon uh, knocked out, especially when he was so close. But uh, you can't really do anything when that happens. Um, it could have gone either way, and sadly it was just went the sort of one in... I, I imagine there was one in quarter chance that he'd managed to get past me, or even... Well, to, to get past the Chaos Corn Demon's armour, you'd even need to roll above eight on a dice and then roll the injury so on one block and especially on a one die block it wasn't really going to happen um, but yeah these are these min max teams it was a shame that none of the rest of the players really got injured too much I was all hoping to do more damage and um, his guard players just paid off dividends really um, and they were always going to um, because that's sort of how these teams work, is they are designed that if they, you know, if anything goes your way, you will be fine. Um, oh, I should put the tackle player there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, on the subject of min-max teams, you'll find a lot of them in this game. I've played a lot of Chaos teams, and sometimes they're just infuriating, because you've, if they came up against a team of 1,500, maybe, say something maybe like goblins or something I mean if this team had come across maybe Amazons I think they would have been screwed well maybe not screwed but had a bad time because they don't have enough tackle or elves they probably would have struggled against elves um, because they don't have the agility play um, but you know that's uh, that's their choice so do, 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 do. right good block thank you and Okay, I did this wrong, but he still has block. I shouldn't have made that mistake, that's rookie. Um, 
and yeah, let, just don't sweat it if you lose a game like this because it's fine. There will be times where your Chaos Demon will have screwed up and you should have done something good and it didn't and that's completely normal. Um, and Corn is really an unreliable team in a way because it does require that Corn Demon to be on the frickin' pitch. He's amazing while he's on the pitch but if he goes off, you're in trouble because he's the only thing holding your team together. Um, yeah, I got an achievement for Bloodshed. Kind of annoying to lose that, but oh well. Okay, looks like I might have just leveled up. Hooray, on another one. So, um, let's have a quick look at the team. Um, God, that's kind of annoying not to get that. Come on for a double. Please a double. He needs a double. That's not a double. Okay. Um... Oh, sorry, my cat wants to get out. Oh, I could have done with a double because he really needs one before block to get... not have block. Break tackle might be useful. Um, thick skull might be even better just because then it means he's not going to get knocked out. Piling on, multiple block. I think it, I'm going to have to go for break tackle on this one. But he's become a bit of a legend. Oh, finally, this guy leveled up. Excellent. So we can give him block. And then, oh, I might actually, my corn herald has just gone, but I can buy another one. And um, I've only got one sub, which might be a little too few, but they're a bit of a weird time team because you have to have, it's kind. this guy is really valuable, but at the same time, like I've had him for so many games, but it's kind of tempting to block, drop him because he hasn't rolled a double and got block. Anyway, good grade, good game to my opponent, even if he's min-maxed his team, which in my mind is evil, because it's just taking advantage of a bad sort of matchmaking system. But um, fair play to him. You know, it, he played well, albeit he played almost into my hand and then he got away. But um, that's okay. That's going to happen and you just have to accept it, even though I'm struggling to accept it now. God damn it. But um, yeah, I'll throw up a subscribe on the top right, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's corn. I'm trying to get lots of races, but it seems all, only my uh, Chaos Edition races are coming in. So yeah, uh, stay safe, guys.